What's up, y'all? It may or may not be 1 a.m. What's up, guys? It's 2020. Everyone's been looking back on, like, the past decade. But I'm like, what about the 2000s? I know some of us want to forget it existed because that was kind of a weird phase for some of us. You know, it happened. I'm glad it happened, though. But we have iPhones, Nintendo Switches, Apple Music. But let me take you back for a second and show you some stuff we had in the 2000s and 90s. One of the things from the 90s, y'all. I was born in 97, so I didn't really experience the 90s. Two-year-old me wasn't really like, oh, let me play this game. I was just kind of like, bah. <laughs> bah. <laughs> So I went on eBay, went to the store, went to my house, looked for some of the most nostalgic old technology from the 90s and the 2000s because they deserve some love and these things brought me so much joy back in the day. From what I can remember, you know how you look back on stuff and you're like, this brought me so much joy, but then you remember, oh, oh yeah, me and my friend like fought over this and we we're no longer friends because of this toy that we both wanted at the same time and then it ruined our relationship. So I guess we'll just get started. Um, comment down below if you remember this stuff too. Okay, the first thing, oh, I still love this. I'm just gonna be like, oh the whole time. It was called Video Now in color. I didn't have the black and white one. Okay. Got your video now? We have more than a hundred discs to pick from. You're ready to watch what you want, whenever you want. Great TV shows and hot celebrities like Raven Simone and Romeo. And music videos from Hilary Duff. Jesse McCartney and Simple Plan. And don't forget Hollywood. The story of Star Wars 3 disc set is only on video now. Basically it was like a portable DVD player, but you had to have the video now discs. You couldn't use regular DVDs. And I think for these, it had to be 30 minutes or less. The video now was from 2003. So I was about six. It was discontinued in late 2004, a few months after the release of the video now color. Didn't last long. This is it. And it looks like you can watch it through here because there's a clear place right here and you can put your little headphones in there and you just like... I mean, you could be like... Watching TV. That's the screen. Uh, it's perfect though. Like, I wouldn't want anything to change. This is not the one I had. I had the Spongebob exclusive edition. Like, it's whatever. I had to try it out before I started filming just to make sure it worked. And it kept saying, like, no disc red. And I was like, there's a disc in here. Turned out that it needed this piece, this little piece of plastic. I found that in the trash where I had thrown it away. So, you know, that's just me, like, just solving crimes daily. They gave me a Hillary Duff, Jimmy Neutron, Fairly Odd Parents, SpongeBob, and Jesse McCartney's <laughs> disc. You pop that open. We're gonna start with Jimmy Neutron and see what's happening with him. Okay, you know what? And we're gonna turn it on. Oh, it's saying there's no disc. Okay, fun. Uh, this is so fun. It should work now. It has a little time thing. <laughs> That song slapped. I forgot how hard that song slapped. So like the quality is quite awful, but Sheen was honestly mood. We need a bigger hill. Can we turn the brightness up too? Stop. We have to see the Hillary Duff. And I had a DVD of one of the Hillary Duff tour videos. It had like a poster in it, and you know how some 
music artists will put like a poster in their CD or like a DVD and it would be like a fake signature. It would be like a printed signature. For so long, I believed Hilary Duff signed that for me. I didn't have an XP, what was that? She was so punk rock. Canadian fans were awesome and I love I love Hillary Duff. Like who doesn't love Hillary Duff? Like you can't even see it. Like you gotta like squint your eyes and kinda look at it from far away. I wanna sing so yesterday. We just wanna let the rain fall down. Was that the rest it? Of this disc is for video now XP players only. Press stop now. Okay. Well, it's fun. <clears throat> Guess I needed video now XP. Now we're gonna try Jesse McCartney and he <laughs> Jesse, you won't let us down. Come on, Jesse, we want to hear a beautiful soul. There he goes. Is this the same music they used for Hillary Duff's tour video? Leaving the friends and the family was tough. Being away from everybody and, and uh, at the same I mean, I get that your tour life was hard, but like we just want to see you sing Beautiful Soul, like that's it. Alright, that is ear blood. End of disc. I didn't know they were this rude. Jesse and Hillary, they were taking advantage of you. They were getting your fans to buy these, thinking they were going to be jamming out to your music, but they just saw your boring tour life vlogs. No, I'm just kidding. It wasn't boring. I would probably actually have freaked out watching that. Canadian fans were awesome. The next thing is probably the most popular thing out of all these. It is the most popular. <laughs> Hello. Portable CD players. Yeah, yeah. Sony Compact Disc Players. Your ears will tell you it's not only what you play, it's what you play it on. I look like a young Matthew McConaughey. Could have been, who knows. That was his first acting gig, was like a CD player commercial. This is what I used for a long time, like car rides. If you're going on a trip to Florida, portable CD player. This is a lot fancier than the ones we had. And these, if you had any other headphones, you weren't doing it right. These headphones, okay, oh, it's all twisted. Hold on, uh, hold on for an hour, hold on for just a couple hours. Wishy foam that would barely like fit over your ears. Oh, and this would happen a lot. If you played it a little bit loud, everyone, everyone could hear everything you were playing, which I don't think everyone wanted to hear Allie and AJ in my car. See, this was the look, like, Beats could really never, ever, just in the studio, Making some beats in the studio. I looked around to try to find some CDs we have. I found this Camp Rock CD. When you've listened to a CD a lot and it's worn out is when this happens. Like this, you know this came in a Happy Meal from 2009. Life is a highway. Big girls don't cry. Pop for kids, the off-brand kids bop. Journey of Greatest Hits. The scratches are insane. <laughs> you know, the scratch, like this will not work. Disney Channel hits remixed. You know, you gotta re, re, re to mix. Celine Dion, we used to bop to some Celine Dion. On the line soundtrack. Movie soundtracks are, were so underrated. And another Journey Greatest Hits for some reason. I probably had like eight Greatest Hits albums. Ferguson. Is that supposed to be Fergie? It says Ferguson. So we're gonna stick this puppy in here. 
The sound is actually good on this. I just put batteries in here and it says the battery's low. Sounds like actual three-year-olds. I've got to see what this pop for kids is about. <laughs> when you start hearing it spinning, you know I'm grinning. Let's get it started. Oh, it's skipping. I don't know why it's saying pop for kids because it's still adults singing it and no kids. So, you've got to see what this Disney Channel hits is all about. Remix. Can't forget the remix. Imagine me getting just absolutely lit to this. We got to see which Celine Dion song we got to listen to. She had a song with R. Kelly. <clears throat> Next thing are the chat now walkie talkies. It's not a cell phone. The chat now communicator is a new way for kids to talk, text message, yeah! and take pictures. <laughs> oh? Look how epic and cool these are like wildflower iPhone cases with flames on them. Look at this. Before you got a phone, you could get these. They were basically like walkie talkies and you had to be within a mile of each other and you could text. And take pictures. It could store up to 30. 30 black and white pictures. Imagine me. Hello. So I had one pretty much like this, but at some point, I think I had lost like the case, this part, and I put Play-Doh on it as the case. Chat, call, text, photo, list. I'm trying to read backward. Okay, well the buttons aren't working, so that's great. Well, this one doesn't work. Let's try the other one. The camera. There's me. <laughs> Let's do a sideways selfie. Wait, is it in the album? Oh my gosh, there are pictures of that other people took on this phone. What is up? We're gonna send. We're gonna call myself. Hello? 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 Bro, is your chat now not working? I sent you like three texts. I also sent you a pic. I've just been sitting here taking selfies, just waiting on you to chat me. You could have just called me. I know your buttons aren't working, but why don't you just call me? Yeah, I don't get it. I just don't get it. All right. Well, let me know when you get a good chat now that works. So the next thing is called hit clips. Basically, it would play clips of hit songs. And that was it. Music to get you grooving. Hit clips is a slick micro audio system. Plus with the micro boom box, load the mother load. These came out in 1999. My sister had one and I would always play it. This was actually hers. So it's like, looks like a little boom box. And you would stick these little chip reader things in this, press play, and it would play a little clip of a hit song. We had Britney Spears, Stronger, and Backstreet Boys, The Call. I cannot tell you how many times we played these songs. So these songs are forever ingrained in my head. I went to a Backstreet Boys concert recently and when they played The Call, it was probably honestly one of the best moments of my life. I was like, whoa, this is where I need to be right now. It was Oh, so it doesn't work. Okay, well, does it take batteries? Oh. Someone's waiting for me. Let me 
Spears. The last thing was called the Nicktoons Plug and Play. It was from 2004. It was basically like a joystick game that you would plug into your TV. This is not the one I had, but this is the exact kind I had. Like those plug-in games. That was the money, y'all. We're gonna plug this into my TV and try to play it. SpongeBob didn't get cheese on the patty. Turn it on. Here we go. Hey. So we have all these different, oh, Cash Dash. The music's kind of loud and annoying. Let's try Spongebob, because everyone likes Spongebob. Spongebob only has a limited amount of patties, so don't waste them. Is this fun to you? Probably not. Okay. Whoops. Jump. Um, excuse you. There's Pearl. It's something about you, Pearl. Look at all the fish just like cheering us along. I used to think this was so difficult. Was I all right? Oops, I just felt. It's got kind of channel chasers. Collect. Wow, we love like a basic maze game. We love it. And escape for the TV. I said escape. Whoa. Some trippy visuals. Downhill skateboarding. We're skaters out here. Oh, this one was fun. Okay. Oh, we're at a checkpoint. Oh, I love games with checkpoints so you didn't have to start all over. I was a skater girl. She said see you later girl. This is kind of giving me a headache. Yeah, this is kind of giving me motion sickness. It's going way too fast. My eyes, my eyes, my eyes were starting to like go up and down. Cash dash. Oh, this one was like hard. Gotcha. Five dollars. Oh, that was it? Are you kidding me? Eleven dollars. I mean, we're out here balling. See, this is like thought provoking. Why were all the other games so basic and then this one like really popped off? I'm gonna beat him. Why is he getting this extra money? He has $38. So those were um, a few things. Those were just a few pieces of throwback technology that gave me joy. Hopefully gave you some joy. I probably wouldn't like any of this stuff if I didn't have like nostalgia with it. You know how it be sometimes. You know the boss. You know the boss. All right, good night and remember. Uh -huh. Hi. I'm playing this song at my wedding.